is from Toronto, Canada. I just got here from Buffalo, New York. So you can see it's snowing here. It's pretty cold. I'm having a runny nose. Okay, so here is the hostel that I'm currently staying here in Toronto. It's called Ca Cana Canadian Backpackers Inn. Um, I'm currently staying in a one-bedroom hostel. Welcome to Toronto. So I'm over here at the ice skating rink. Here, as you can see, people here are skating. It is a Torontonian thing, from what I've been told. And here, right in front of me, is John. Hi, John. Hi. Where are you from, John? So, 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 tell me what this ice skating rink is all about. Well, it's a tradition in Toronto. It's uh, well, I can remember when I was a kid, about nine years old, which is about forty years ago. I used to come here when I was just a kid skating, and it's still here. A tradition we do every year in Toronto. It goes on for about two and a half months, and there's also lots of festivals in this uh, in City Hall Square. We have ice festivals, we have ice sculptures, we have fireworks, uh, all kinds of great things happen here. And, and what, what is that building right in front of you? That's Old City Hall. That's the Old City Hall. That's our courthouse. That's, it's kind of like Big Ben, just like yeah, the... Just like Big Ben. You can even see the gargoyles on top coming out of the building. If you look closely, they're protecting the courthouse. Right. It's like the Canadian, the, the Canadian version of Big Ben. Absolutely. <laughs> As matter of fact, it's 3 o'clock now. So uh, any minute now the uh, chimes will go off and you'll hear three big loud chimes because one for each hour. And it does that right up to the 12 and it goes back to one and does it all over again. It all right. Over. Okay. And what is that building right in front of us? That's right. City Hall Chambers. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's actually uh, where they have all the MP sit. Right. And they uh, actually, um, our new mayor, Ford, he's got his office in and he just took, uh, he just took office uh, two days ago. And he's in that building. And we have Austin Hall over here, which is where all the lawyers uh, are. These okay. are where all the lawyers are over here, Osgood Hall. So they're very closely connected because, uh, of course, they work together, the lawyers. And City Hall, they all work together. Right? And then the court has to here. So everything is in a close proximity. Right. Yeah. Of course, it's all right downtown. Just makes you want to dance. Yeah. Yeah. Nice music actually, here in the background. Uh, actually, last weekend we had our festival of lights. Really? The DJ set up and the music was just pounding. Oh, I would have loved that. <laughs> yeah. What you're hearing now, um, it was probably about 10 times louder. <laughs> I was gonna take the streetcar. Streetcar is, is like a tram. Actually, in Amsterdam, they call them trams, but here in Toronto, they call them streetcars. But I call them tram. Um, I'll show you how it looks like later, but I'm not gonna be taking the streetcar because I came to find out that Chinatown is only a 10 minute walk away. So I'll just walk. <laughs> so I'll, I'll see you there. Okay, that over there is called the streetcar. That's what they call it here in Toronto. In Amsterdam, we have a similar transportation over there, but they call it um, they call they call them trams in Amsterdam for some reason. So I don't know what the real correct term is. I guess each city has their own different terms. But anyway, here in Toronto, people either take the streetcars or take the subway to get around. Welcome to Chinatown. Uh, yeah, I got it. Hi, greetings from Toronto. Um, I'm here, about to go inside the CN Tower. They said it's, it is. It, it used to be the tallest structure in the world until Dubai. Um, built theirs, but now this is now the second tallest. Right there. I love it. You there. like the wall? I love it. Right, I can't stop go. talking about it. Oh my god, look at this! Total travel time is 58 seconds. If you have any questions, feel free to oh ask. Otherwise, enjoy the view. How, how high is this? You're going to 1136 awesome. feet. Awesome. Look at that. Meters. Dude, it's snowing. 346 meters. I'm over here inside CN Tower. And how, how tall is this again? I'm sorry. 
We're going to a height of 1,136 awesome. feet, 346 meters, or 114 building stories. Awesome. I bet you when we go down, we will actually feel... Then you don't look uh, outside. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This is really nice. Look at that. Hi, I'm in the observation area of the CN Tower. I'm actually here, almost in the top. Let me show you around. Here's a view of Toronto, Canada. All right, so here I am at CN Tower. And, uh, <laughs> You say you can feel it over there better? You can feel it, yeah. See? Just oh, yeah. over here. Can you feel it? No. Stand on this one. Let me see. I feel it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can, you can feel oh. that. That's cool. It's awesome. <laughs> Makes you want to jump out of it, right? <laughs> That's a little weird, isn't it? Huh? This is awesome. All the way down. Going down. Feel free to move up a little bit if you wish. Everyone has their jackets, correct? Everyone jump on the glass floor. I would like to. <laughs> if you missed it entirely, you can always stick your toe on this one and tell people you went. It's I think it's just it depends on because it's Oh snap, look at these. I didn't realize that you can actually see it. It's like I don't know, it seems less scary somehow, but some people find it extremely Okay, I just got out of Sea at Tower. That was a pretty cool experience. I was only there for probably 10 minutes by this time ago. Good morning. It's another day here in Toronto, Canada. As you can see, it's snowing. But I don't like it. It's very cold. I'm trying to stay warm. Um, today, we are going to Chinatown to do some souvenir shopping. So I will see you there. Day in Toronto. We're like here to these coffee. Uh, I'm trying to stay warm. I have my um, hot chocolate here and my breakfast sandwich. As you can see, it's snowing out. It's snowing hard outside. You can't really see. Oh, there you go. And I'm over here trying to stay warm. Okay, so I'm over here inside the world's biggest bookstore. Uh, oh, look what I found here. It's an art box magazine, issue 11. Andy Jones, if you are watching these, I am so glad that I found it all the way here in Toronto, Canada. So, I just bought the art box magazine. Came okay, about to take the streetcar and uh, see you in the Dunder Square. Welcome to Dunder Square. Dunder Square, it's mainly shopping area. Um, it's a very long street. It goes all the way there, all the way on the other side of the street. You can't really see it here. I'm here inside one of those Belgian waffles. I've been told that these are real Belgian waffles. But uh, I'll see if these are really Belgian waffles. Because I've had one before in Brussels. Hopefully these meet my expectations.